In a significant Vatican event, the College of Cardinals convened with Pope Francis at the Vatican's Apostolic Palace on Monday morning for an ordinary public consistory. The session began with the Pope leading the Cardinals in the mid-morning prayer of the Liturgy of the Hours. Following the prayers, they reviewed the canonization cases of several blessed. Cardinal Marcelo Semeraro, Prefect of the Dicastery for the Causes of the Saints, presented a brief report, known as the Pero Ratio, detailing the lives and miracles of 15 individuals under consideration. After this, the consistory voted and approved their canonization. Among the newly approved saints are the Martyrs of Damascus, who were martyred in Syria in 1860. This group includes Fr. Manuel Ruiz Lopez, OFM, his seven companions, and the brothers Abdel Moti, Francis, and Rafael Masabki, three Maronite laymen. These eleven individuals were killed for their faith during the 1860 Syrian civil war, when thousands of Christians were massacred by Muslim militiamen in Ottoman Syria. The Masabki brothers and the eight Franciscans were murdered on the night of July 9, 1860, while praying inside the Franciscan church in Damascus. These 14 new saints will be officially inscribed in the list of saints on Sunday, October 20, 2024. Furthermore, the consistory approved the canonization of the first saint from Generation Y, commonly known as Millennials, those born between 1981 and 1996. Blessed Carlo Acutis is expected to be proclaimed a saint during the 2025 Jubilee, possibly alongside other canonizations. Born in 1991 to Italian parents in London, England, Carlo Acutis was a talented web designer who passed away from leukemia at the age of 15 in Monza, Italy. He was renowned for his devotion to Eucharistic miracles and Marian apparitions, which he meticulously catalogued on a website he created. According to the Pero Ratio, Carlo was welcoming and caring towards the poorest, and he helped the homeless, the needy, and immigrants with the money he saved from his weekly allowance. St. Carlo Acutis, pray for us.